Hi everyone, I'm Saket Pansal and in this video I'm exploring the newly launched AI assistance from PMI. Since I'm into project management and I am also very enthusiastic about using AI for project management, I believe PMI launching AI assistant is a very impressive step. They are showing quite a growth and open mindset for learning and promoting their professionals to get at the speed of this AI uh, wave. And let's explore how much mature product we have in, in front of us. But overall, I like the idea of creating awareness in project management professionals that AI can be used for various project management related activities. So I am sharing the AI assistant uh, uh, analysis with you. I think you need to have a PMI paid member ID. Uh, uh, so if you click aiassistant.pmi.org, it will prompt you to log in. And once you log in using your PMI ID, that's what I did. I, I land to a, a page where there is a prompt and there are some information written, which I can use. It's like a chat GPT kind of interface only, but it is specific to giving me some examples of project management. Now uh, I'm exploring learning some project management ideas, and then probably we'll talk about uh, some practical project management documents. So I'm stressing on two ideas. One is a scope management plan and another is a risk register. I personally believe scope management plan is not very standard thing used in the industry and sometimes people remain confused. So let's see how the PMI's AI assistant helped me creating sample scope management plan for a, for a website. We will use the same prompt at a chat GPT as well and we'll try to analyze what are the good and bad between these two prompts. The idea is just to see what we can do using AI assistance from the, the PMI. So can you help me in creating sample scope management plan for a website development project? So for a online shopping website development project. Let's see. Yeah. So I am asking for a sample scope management plan. Uh, as a learner, I am into project management space and I wanted to see how this particular thing looks like. And so I asked the PMI AI assistance to help me here. So scope definition, define the project scope, including feature functionality of the website. So let it complete and then we, we see uh, how it is coming. So I go reverse, probably I see the final summary and then we move forward. So the summary seems to be the key of the PMI AI assistance because it is coming from PMI theoretical uh, booklets, yeah, details. So scope management plan is a critical component of project management plan that describes how project scope will be defined, developed, monitor, control, and verify. It includes the scope definition, development, monitoring and control, verification, communication process. Uh, so that becomes a little tricky. Yeah. So does it really include scope definition? By following this plan, the project team can ensure the project scope stayed within the defined boundaries. Yeah, that's always good. Uh, but does it include scope definition? Yeah, maybe development and monitoring control. It can includes the, the process of defining scope rather than creates the real uh, scope. But this summary is decent. And they are saying that this response is powered by PMI proprietary content. And they can give a reference for these things also. I don't know why the reference is coming for program management body of knowledge, but it's there, so standard for program management. And process group, a practice guide. Yeah, so this is something process group practice guide, which is a replacement of Pinbox 6, which is coming here. I can probably click here and see what it does for me. So process group, a practice guide, it, you know, uh, it takes me to the article where this thing is, is mentioned and I don't know what they want. Uh, log into PMI to gain an access. Okay, I can log in uh, here and I can directly probably refer to some of the content which, yeah, so once I logged in, uh, it is, uh, okay, it is saying download this thing. Yeah, download this thing, yes, I can definitely download. And uh, uh, that thing is, is, is a kind of a replacement of Pimbok uh, 6 by giving all the processes related to uh, uh, various initiating, executing and other processes. So this thing I can say, yes, it has a little reference, but coming back and uh, coming back to the original, the chat GPT or I'm sorry, AI assistance from PMI space and see what we have other than this. So it gives a reference. I can go and read about it. 
But when I uh, go here, scope definition, define the project scope, include the feature and functionality of the website, identify the stakeholder for and their requirements, determine the project boundaries and constraint. Uh, this I do as a project scope a statement, not a project scope management plan. So I am not much liking this. Yeah, at least it, this is not what I expected from scope management plan. Uh, scope development, create a WBS and break down the project scope into manageable tasks. I'm definitely not going to do this in a scope management plan. It can contain a little bit about a process of creating WBS, uh, but uh, uh, I don't know what they are trying to teach me here, uh, but it is definitely not a scope management plan. That's uh, uh, here. Maybe summary is good, uh, reference is good, but the sample is not that good. Yeah, that is what I can uh, pick from here. Let's see if uh, ChatGPT4 can help me. Um, so here I come back to chat GPT-4, paste the same prompt and let's see what we get here. So creating a sample scope management plan on online shopping website. So they are starting with a project overview, which is okay. Now again, project scope. Yeah. So website design, product catalog, shopping cart, payment detail. So it is creating a scope statement for me rather than creating a scope management plan for me. So this some seems to be the confusion both the places. And uh, then it uh, goes into, uh, now it comes to probably a scope management section. So how do you define, uh, great, how do you document, how do you verify, scope control, uh, roles and responsibilities, maybe some part of it can come, uh, some high level deliverables if it is needed, yeah, that can come, but deliverable is a part of scope statement. So I would say there is a little confusion here, uh, rather than little, I think good amount of confusion here. Uh, because uh, uh, both the places I am getting some idea about the definition. Uh, it is uh, till here the critical component of project management that describe how the project scope will be defined, developed and monitored. And the sample which I am getting uh, 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 in the in the both the cases is including the, the, the scope definition as well. So I think uh, uh, we need to apply some amount of our own intelligence uh, in case of both the tools are unable to give us the right sample in this particular case. Uh, though uh, we can stick to the summary, which is probably the right one. Okay, so I think scope management plan done. Let's take a relatively simpler maybe, or maybe further complicated. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so let's talk about practical thing. So I can say, can you uh, create, create a, risk register for the same online shopping website yeah so i can put a sample create a sample risk register so let's do it with the ai assistance first Okay, nice. So it is coming up with some good information, some risk event, and with some details. Uh, it's it's here. Security breach, result of loss of data, key takeaways, uh, risk register is a critical component, and risk register should include these things. So the 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 section which comes towards the end. Uh, after the sample, that seems to be a good one. So it is saying this response is powered by following PMI proprietary content. So it gives a little confidence, especially if you are preparing for PMP exam. So this part is good. Yeah, the upper part, which because this part you won't get in a, a chat GPT-4 version or any version. Uh, but here you have some samples which might be coming team member responsible and all. So uh, some, some sample is coming here. Let me put the same prompt uh, to the four and let's see what we get here so here also we are getting some sections and uh, they are giving some id also i think uh, that's uh, impact and probability analysis is also coming uh, some kind of samples and uh, more details. So we have delay in project timelines, budget overrun, so network error. Yeah, so probably I need to do a regenerate here and uh, that can give a little better answer. Uh, it's, it's natural to have some time network error as well. 
and I hope the response will not change after the network error gets over. Okay, thankfully it is not going to network error. <laughs> that much I can see. Okay, so some more risks are coming. And in a chat GPT-4, I can also export this ID into Excel file, which I can't do in a PMI AI assistance, but yes, yeah, that's the, the thing. So here, uh, uh, my practical take till now, as much I have explored with you as well as before, that for getting little summary level details, which comes towards the end, the PMI AI assistance is good, and we can uh, basically use it as a as a extended dictionary, a extended uh, explanation of various concepts of PMI. Uh, but uh, if I want to take some practical examples for my preparation for my project uses, maybe the PMI model is not that much uh, uh, populated as of now. May get populated after some time when we do a lot of interaction there. But as of now, it is not that much uh, uh, matured as of now. Yeah. After looking at scope management plan and the risk register cases. I can say that we need to apply some amount of judgment when we are using even the PMI AI assistant. And yes, the some part of the content is generated using PMI proprietary content, which can give us a good pointer because if you read the summary, you can find out from where the content is coming and you can remain right there. But the upper content when they are trying to generate some example can go wrong. So you need to apply a little bit judgment there. Uh, if you are looking for generic project management advices like creating a risk register and all, I think the chat GPT-4 can do a better job for you. But if you are looking for PMP preparation and want to learn some concepts and use want to use this AI assistant as a tool to search and give some interactive uh, answers to you, I think that's a great uh, uh, source. I believe it's a great step from PMI because uh, they, are, they are embracing the new change or AI technologies. And I believe within few months, we should see a more powerful and enhanced version of, of this AI assistant. And we all as a project manager can make best use of it.